Hey guys, I'm back! Um, today with Bruiser Gragas Top. So, yeah, what's the thing about this build? Um, the recent changes to Gragas, um, where Riot stated that they wanted to have players play Gragas more aggressively, to get in there and, and deal damage that way, uh, made it so that Body Slam now deals da is his f the full damage to everybody hit, uh, while before it was like it got split up to a minimum on everybody and you only got the full damage to, to one target if you hit him alone. So now um, the base damage on Battle Slam and the AD scaling is rather high so you get like pretty nasty damage out of it and nobody expects it. And yeah, so AD Bruiser hybrid thing Gragas it is. As you can see I'm going aggressive early. Um, I bought a, a an elixir red, red, red elixir and yeah I'm playing against a Renekton where I should go aggressive early and force him out of lane. So yeah um, masteries are 2190 um, I take the, the all the AD uh, masteries and the hybrid pen in offense and in defense standard uh, auto attack damage reduction from champions, some health uh, regen and bonus health. So yeah, um, my masteries are hybrid pen marks, um, AD quints and standard armor seals and MR glyphs. And as you can see, um, um, with the slow of body slam and the huge damage I get from um, drinking from a barrel W, which gives quite some AD early on, that scales into my body slam plus the uh, fortitude pot, um, surprises Renekton and I get the kill on him. And so yeah, I go for Doran's Blade next to further boost my early game power and snowball my lane. Uh, yeah. Skill order, I take uh, Body Slam first, then go for my W, don't know what it's called, um, to, to get some bonus AD. After that I get the barrel for my third spell, basically. And then um, I max my body slam. As you can see, my burst is pretty high, and yeah, Gragas overall sustain is is quite nice. So he's really suited for the top lane meta uh, right now, which is like sustain, um, da some damage, AOE, kind of Renek and Shivana. Uh, yeah, what else? Shen, those this this kind of stuff, and you overall need to to get some utility, which brings uh, which Gragas brings with his ultimate. That's like the, the, the yeah. like the only downside of Gragas is that his ultimate of of building Gragas this way um, is that his ultimate scales with AP really well, <clears throat> and by going the the build I do. It's like you lose some some burst in the late game as your ultimate is becomes a, a source of CC rather than a source of, of burst damage. But early game you just tr treat him like he's AP Gragas and <clears throat> rely on your body slam rather than your Q and everything should be fine. And yeah, don't forget to auto attack as you as you as you can see uh, I've got. 142 uh, um, 80 level 5 6 which is pretty broken at this level and yeah my body slam scales really well with um, with 80 so yeah I think I killed Renek in there there's just no way I would to not kill him. Yeah, body slam dead. Yeah, um, so I'm pretty stomping, running. Mm. Yeah, 
I'd say so. I had 14 CS, which we will become more now, as I get to push the wave into his tower. And yeah, get some quality time with the turret, go back and buy a sheen. So yeah, the core items are um, Icebound Gauntlet, as it gives mana, and the sheen proc is really nice for bursting someone. Like body slam into auto attack is the harass combo when playing Gragas. So Sheen is really nice on him. And you want the the slow for more CC as you you will have to, to peel for your carry late game. Your damage you you la you will lack some damage in the later team fights. So you will have to peel for your carry with, with your ultimate and body slam plus auto attack. And as one gauntlet just fits there really well. And I tend to go a Leandris after that. So body slam into Sheen Proc Leandris. Uh Gauntlet Proc Leandris is like really nice uh DPS as the enemy will be slowed from your body slam plus um gauntlet proc and so the Leandris will get the double efficiency um on it and yeah, his his body slam deals magic damage, so the the uh, magic pen doesn't go to waste either. And yeah, after that, I usually go really tanky, spirit usage, sunfire cape and stuff. And yeah, we will see how I go later that game. If I get fed, I usually go for like a hybrid AP build. And yeah, we will see. Um, so I'm doing really fine my lane, I guess. Um, I got another kill at mid lane, it seems. And the enemy team does really well in, in mid lane and, and bot lane. So overall it's pretty even in gold and yeah. mid lane dies but gets a kill in return. So not much happening there. And yeah, I get to push down Renekton's tower. And yeah. Warding. Because I'm scared of Jarvan. And... Just last thing farming up. I've got the most CS in the game. And yeah, I go in for Renekton. But... Um, Brand was waiting for me to do so, but luckily I got away with with the body slam. Yeah, another thing about body slam. Uh, before it was like the cooldown was seven seconds, the base cooldown, and Riot stated that it was not fun and to not be able to catch Gragas as he could repeatedly spam his body slam and get away that way. And so they changed uh, the the way Body Slam works. So they put up the the cooldown. They hired it, uh, but made it so that when you hit your target or hit somebody, the cooldown is halved. So basically, if you hit, if you keep hitting your lane opponent, you have a, f a lowest cooldown slam, a Body Slam. And if you don't hit them, it's a high cooldown. And I really like that the change because, yeah, Body Slam should be kind of used for slamming somebody, I guess. It's not a grave stash where it's like just about positioning. And yeah. Jarring comes up to me. And yeah, sadly, um, I am don't manage to get away because they use like everything flashes and uh, ultimates. Yeah, should have should have warded probably. So yeah, mid dies again to Brand. Sets not doing too hot, I guess. Um, yeah, Jarwin is pretty fat too. So I'm like the only member who is really doing fine, I guess. Uh, 
Yeah. Time to carry. My farm is pretty high. Like, only Wayne is near me, my farm. And yeah. Not much to comment about, I guess. Uh, what else to say about the build? Matchup wise, I don't know. I guess early game, strong early game champions like Riven or something like that are are pretty strong against him. As you shouldn't, as you you should um, body slam early. That's what you should try to body slam them as of as often as possible. Early game and yeah, some champions that Riven can punish you really hard for that. Uh, yeah, so I get my my ice bomb gauntlet and some home guard enchantments on my boots and try to roam as top lane. Renekton is playing like super safe. Can't do much about that. And yeah, we get mid tower. Um, group up with Vi? No. Yeah, this game I think I head for uh, Leandris second. And then go for a Sunfire Cape. Or something like that. I don't know. But, uh, but, but I think so. Or Randoins? Not sure. Yeah, this is this is pretty bad. Um. We like go back there. Then Vi says, "Could we dive him?" And I say, "Yeah, maybe. Just go on him." And there he goes. And the thing is, I try to ult him. Then say, "No, no, don't go in." And at that uh, at that moment, Vi already pressed her ultimate, and yeah, it's kind of wasted. So I wasn't in range for. For a, a, a dice barrel. And yeah. Why dice? Because, yeah, we get trapped. Four, four against three. And yeah. I managed to body slam out. Uh, yeah. The barrel there was like if somebody, somebody would flash over or dash over, I would have popped it and so they got Baron Aggro. Just some damage. I guess. Yeah. Gold wise, we're still even, but we are behind in kills. And yeah, so the moral normally isn't too too high when you're behind in kills. Uh, yeah. We kill Caitlyn. I'm a catcher out of position with my barrel. And yeah. Body slam into her plus auto attack of with the. Proc of Icebound Gauntlet finishes the job. Yeah, Zed is heading for a split push build, uh, and so do I. I think Greg is really strong at split pushing as he has several ways of wave clearing, can disengage with his barrel and with his body slam, and yeah. His dueling is overall pretty strong due to the bonus AD and resistances of his W. The utility and burst of his ultimate plus um, body slam. So yeah, really like that. I like to, to split push with Gregus. Yeah, Be Wayne gets caught. Um, she gets out anyway. And... Nice set blocks the good guy set to say um, blocks the uh, Caitlyn ultimate. Uh, yeah. At this point, um, Zed is is kind of behind, and I think 
a brand should be able to one view on him, which is a problem, as I said, really excels at, at split pushing, because normally no one should be able to, to duel him, and so he can go off split pushing, and if someone comes, he kills him, and if two people come, the rest of your team can take an objective as four. And yeah, that's kind of the problem here, as Zed is behind in kills, and Bran is pretty fat and has a Zonios, so he should be able to one on him. So yeah, we are grouping as, four, uh, as five. As I think we have the stronger team fight. If we um, can wait out Bran's ultimate or separate in a way that it can't bounce on all of us. And yeah. Vi goes in, we catch Brand and Tarek. And we kind of get decimated. And I try to peel for Wayne all the time, which I do pretty nicely, I think. But then she goes in too deep and gets killed by Renekton. And I get killed by Caitlyn, which could hammer away on our team the whole, the whole team fight, and uh, which ultimately loses us the team fight. It's like we lost four for five, and with Caitlyn having hundred percent HP. So if we could have, if we could have, um, if I could have barreled in uh, Caitlyn. It would have been much easier for for us to kill her, and um, yeah. So, the thing about the barrel is like, you should focus on on two things. You can choose between um, using the barrel for engaging, like um, shooting someone into your team um, with your knockback. Um, or you could use it as a as a peel for your AD, like if Jarvan and Rennick can jump for Vayne, you put a barrel in between Vayne and, and those two. And yeah, they die. There I separate Jarvan from his team, we kill him and his team is no means of uh, continuing the fight. So we kill Jarvan, we pick him off and continue our push. And yeah, I'm poking with Landry's barrels. And yeah, Wayne does a pretty good job. She got denied early uh, in the lane, but now she's kind of back in the game, I guess. Um, she plays really well, so I think if I if I, if I manage to peel for her during team fights, we should win the the team fight. Um, as you can see, I'm going for an Ecotron cloak. Which should go. F I should go for a spirit visage, I guess. Um, some cooldowns, so I can body slam and barrel people more often. And the magic resistance is because Brand is pretty fat, and I w I will always get some damage from Brand in team fights because his AOE is so so high, especially with his ultimate. And yeah. Renekton deals some some pretty nasty magic damage over time too with Sunfire Cape and his ultimate and so does Jarvan because they both build pure tank so yeah magic is the way to go then, there again I try to peel for rain with my barrel which doesn't work as intended um, I misplaced it for some yeah it's the, it, not by much but some I, I could have placed it better to say um at least um I'm going for the kill on brand to help sad but yeah get killed in the meantime Vayne somehow managed to survive that fight and probably because Jarvan went after me and so did brand so all that was left was Renekton and they managed to kill him and yeah we win our first 5v5 team fight, I guess. And get an inhib for that. So yeah, I was talking about the barrel. Um, 
you should always try to to appeal for your team if you get engaged and if you want to engage it's fine to like if somebody's out of position you separate him from his team with your barrel and your team bursts him down but you need to care about who to knock in like if it's a Vladimir, you would be better off not to knock him into your team. Especially because if someone gets knocked into your team, everybody tends to jump on him. So you're clumped up and he can ultimate all five of you. And if his team follows up, it's like disaster. And so you need you really need to care about... It's like Blitzcrank, you need to care about... Who to knock, uh, hook in or knock in, and yeah, uh, and when peeling, just try to knock. Don't try to to knock them away in a certain direction. Just if they get, if you manage to get them away from your carry, that's fine. And leave the rest to your team and try to protect Vayne in this case, or just like Caitlyn, Ezreal. Whatever, and yeah. So here I we go for a th one three one, um, which is a s kind of um, famous split push setup, where you have your jungler and the bot lane split pushing uh, uh, pu pushing mid lane, while top and mid split push the other two lanes. Um, in this case, it works really well because Vi plus Syra Vayne are a strong vision gauging uh, force, and that way they they won't get caught uh, three before or three before five. And in the meantime, Zed and me we will be able to split push a tower or an inhib. In this case, Zed even managed to one v one Caitlyn and get a tower out of it, and I get a tower too. And by my split pushing, I separate Brand from his team. He won't be able to, to kill me, because I'm too tanky. And... I mean, I shouldn't be able to kill him either, but that's fine with me, as I should be able to, to get away. Unless I mess up my body slam, which was the case there. Um, yeah. I uh, man didn't manage to, to hit Jarvan because I figured he would um, flag toss spear thing into me and so I body slammed into in his direction but I, f I messed up and he didn't EQ so I didn't hit him and he survived and I died instead of the other rain round. Oh uh, yeah. My team gets engaged. Um, 4v5. And yeah, they get decimated, of course. But yeah. But I think we're in good, we're in good shape. Um, we're like 3.5k ahead. Something like that, yeah, a bit more. Um, I miss buy there. I wanted to buy DFG, I think. Or Morello, yeah, I had it towards Morello, but then I decided to go for DFG. Um, because... Morello is like, it's really strong because the 20% cooldown reduction and combined with my other items I get like 40% cooldown reduction, some mana regen, AP, the Grievous Wound passive, it's like really strong. But it's more of a um, grouping item because the AP helps poking and so you can poke down uh, the enemy team while taking towers and it doesn't help as much when split pushing and as you can see split pushing really works uh, good against this team because they have so much AoE and the less people they can AoE with those spells um, the less effective those spells get um, and their 1v1 potential is really bad because they have a uh, pure tank top laner in Renekton um, which got denied by me and I can fight him anytime. Uh, Brand is only one one guy and he has like so many skill shots that there's no way of um, him dueling somebody who manages to dodge those and yeah a team fight breaks out at Baron and Vayne gets the jump on, on Brand and we kill him 
And so we, yeah. He doesn't get to use his combo to his fullest potential. And Zed just cleans up. And we get Baron. I was talking about the split push. Yeah, um. It's like. Or when you're going for. Um, this um, one with uh, one three one setup you need to have two two people who can um, you who can who bring utility in team fights so if you need to group you can group but on the other hand you need to be able to um, duel anybody who comes up to you like I'm pretty positive that I can duel brand if I play my spells or use my spells correctly and Zed does too he can 1v1 Caitlyn and he can 1v1 Brand at this point he got some kills and he's pretty farmed so yeah and on the other hand you need to to have this disengaging as I said this disengaging jungle bot lane combo in, in this case Vayne, Zyra and Caitlyn uh not Caitlyn um, Vayne so yeah and because of that, I go for a DFG, because I'm not positive that I can 1v1 um, Caitlyn, and I'm not sure if any of the tanks will be a problem. So I'm positive that Branch, I, I should be able to, to kill Brand, but the tanks and Caitlyn are quite some a problem, and yeah. Yeah, this team fight, we managed to pull off the things we pulled off earlier in the team fights we won. And yeah, clean up the fight. And I foolishly get greedy and try to kill Brand <laughs> on this tower. And he just stuns me on the tower and I die to Caitlyn and his damage. But. Anyhow, we get the inhib and the tower, and yeah, at this point the game should be over soon. And yeah, to top off my build, I go for um, I randoins last some more health, 80 uh, not 80 armor against 80 um, the slow of attack speed on for Caitlyn if she hits me or like if Renekton hits me or Jarvan hits me on accident during teamfight he might get his attack speed slowed and f lowering the DPS they get on, on Bane so yeah me and and Zed went off split pushing and joined back to the team and yeah I separate Brand from his team with my barrel and so yeah Vayne is pretty fast at this point and she just cleans up the fight with just no problem and yeah I think that's game I'm looking at the time yeah looks like it so yeah I hope you enjoy it um, the gameplay and the commentary and I hope it's not too confusing the things I rambled about and if you have questions about the build or something else or you want me to try some builds you figured out on your own just comment down below and leave a like. Bye.